All right, hey everyone, Bricklover18 here today with another Lego moving packing vlog. As you can see, my Lego room is complete turmoil right now. I've actually started moving things, moving sets over to the new space. This is what it's looking like right now. These ones are all waiting for the movers. They're gonna take all the bookshelves and things like that. And right now I'm just trying to tie up all the loose ends, get these sets in boxes and stuff like that because it's time to move and things have got to go. Today in this video, I'm really going to first off be continuing to move stuff to the new space, but also tackling the studio. I have not done anything over here, but I finally filmed my last video here. It's an ass brick talking about my move. So now that it's been filmed, I am ready to tear down the set and move to the new studio. Um, what I'm going to do first is get rid of all the camera equipment and I'm going to bring that over manually because again, I don't really trust the movers with all this expensive gear. So I'm going to break that down and I'm going to move everything over and we'll be good to go now that I don't need to film anymore and once this is tidied up it's going to make this room a whole lot cleaner and it's going to be weird this table has not moved in two years so i'll be able to walk in the center of the room it'll be crazy teardown of the studio is coming along great as you can see i've like emptied out a lot of the cords over here i've started taking down some of the lights i don't want to completely disassemble them because it's a lot of work to put them back up so i'm just going to try and take as many as i can over in my car uh, including some of the lights over here and just continue to take what i can from right here the camera cart and all the equipment i've got a box full of cords and like my camera bag and stuff like that is under this light Wow, so it sure looks different in here without any of the lights and the studio equipment. I took most of it out. Obviously, the table's still here and the camera's in the bag, but you can just see how poorly lit this room was without all those studio's lights shining on my set, but it's looking good. I'll just now get rid of the rest of the camera equipment. Then I'm going to move the table and actually get to work on deconstructing the studio and like removing all the sets and things like that obviously got a little bit more camera equipment to go but i'm gonna move that shortly i am so glad my building has these nice carts they are the handiest thing so now that the camera equipment is moved it's out of here it's at the new place i went and got some ikea bags and a big suitcase because not only do i have to take down the studio because these can be in boxes that's easy but i gotta move all these sets and those aren't as easy to box up so i'm gonna put as many of them in bags as i can and i'm gonna carry them over uh just in my car so i'm gonna try and fill that up as well as begin packing up all everything you see here basically on the studio all right so i've been tearing down the studio here as you can see putting a bunch of things into boxes these are actually my last three boxes so my dad's coming up and he's gonna have to bring me some more because i don't have enough to pack all of this i've also of course been packing away some bags of sets so i've got one here i'm sorry i forgot to turn the air conditioner off but i've got two over here as well so as you can see the backlog of sets is looking pretty good and what i'm going to do now is take a probably a load or two over to my unit um, and then i'll come back here and continue continue packing everything but i just want to get some of these sets out of here and out of the way most of the sealed sets are gone with the exception of a couple of them um, but as you can see i also carried out all the sets to my car which is great so it frees up a lot of space in here and i'm gonna make another trip over now to offload everything i've also found a great use for the lego roman coliseum bag all of my shipping materials there this was like perfect it fit all my shipping supplies goes in this bag quite nicely and it's not even gonna rip it or wreck it because it's not heavy at all not gonna lie this is a little embarrassing the entire car is just filled with sealed lego sets nothing else sealed unopened lego sets like what these are big sets and then all the ones back here in all these bags are all small sets there's like there's hundreds of sealed sets here this is ridiculous okay so before i said i thought it was a little ridiculous no this is just downright ridiculous I'm back at the studio now and I've been doing some packing and oh my god this move I'm just so over it now I don't even know what moving vlog this is but I was carrying over my brand new white house to put in this bag and you literally can see what happened it just fell apart when I was carrying it I forgot there was three sections I was holding it just by the one and well <laughs> well this happened um so I got a bag here I'm gonna bundle it up I don't have time to rebuild it right now but Oh, what a mess. I'm so sick of sets breaking. I'm trying to transport everything so securely. Um, 
well, I'm trying to do some stuff, but I hate dropping sets, especially yesterday. Well, I noticed when I was rebuilding the Empire State Building, it's damaged. Like, some parts got broken when it fell. So, well, this kind of sucks, but... I mean, I also might as well show you what's happening over here in the Lego room. Um, as you can see, the studio is pretty much done now for the most part. This is just a lot of boxes left. Um, and then a couple bigger sets, of course. The shelves are almost empty here. Um, and it's, it, it's coming along really good. The move is in less than one day now. Um, the movers will be here very, very soon. And yeah, this is crazy. I've assembled some of these white boxes just to get additional boxes and, you know, storage as well. As you can see, a lot of them are a little bit taller, so they're not going to be able to seal up, but it's okay because they're all pretty sturdy. So I'm going to continue trying to fill that. I have a few more there. Um, and overall, like, sets are pretty good now. As you can see, most of them are off. Most of them are actually packed up, which is really good. Um, and now I really just have to start tidying up and consolidating. My dad is coming tomorrow with a few more boxes. Like, I've got to get rid of those books. And I've got some other sets over here that I need to do with. But things are going well. So I'm going to take another load out to the car right now. Some of the loose bags. And I'm going to try and fill up as much as I can tonight. All right, so this is about where I'm going to call it quits for today's packing vlog. I'm going to make one more trip over to my new place. It's 11.30 p.m., so it's pretty late. As you can see, pretty much all of the sets now, except for like two boxes here, are taken off the shelves, which is awesome. Over here is looking much better. Um, as you can see, it's kind of messy, but everything's pretty much packed up. What I'm going to do now is, like I said, I'm going to take one trip back over to the new place. It's 11.30 p.m. I'm tired. I'm going to call it quits. Tomorrow is the day my dad comes up. So I've been doing all this packing in the last several days by myself. Tomorrow he comes up and he's going to help me finish some things up. And then the day after is when the actual movers are coming. So basically... I'm going to be getting just gathering this place up, getting it ready to go. I might end up bringing these over by myself tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to pile all the shelves together so it's easy. I'm going to tape all these boxes up, and I'm going to pile them in one corner as well. Again, just to make things easy for everybody uh, on the move day, because I won't even be here. I probably won't even get a chance to film it. But this is what the studio is looking like right now. Lots of, lots of things left to do. And like I said, I am so done with this move. I just can't wait for it to be over. Ugh. The worst part is not just packing it all up, but I'm going to turn around and unpack it in a day or two. Um, so yeah, it's going to be fun to set it up, but I, I am kind of dreading it right now. But very excited to see what's to hold. All right, before I wrap up this video, I am going to go to my new place now. Last trip of the night. Here we go. As you can see, the car is once again full of sets and sets and pick a brick cups and the trunk is completely full of sets. This is the last load up to the unit today and for this packing vlog. All right, everyone, everything is in my studio for tonight. So that is the end of this packing vlog. As you can see, I've just been piling up the walk-in closet here. And I, as I said, I don't even know if it's going to be part of the Lego room yet. Um, but I've been piling everything up here. As you can see, the closet is full of sets, and I'm going to have to do some really creative organizing here because it certainly does not look nearly as nice as how I used to have it in the old studio, and I want to make sure my closet a backlog. Is, you know, it looks great and stuff like that. Also, I've got one light set up here. This plug is actually controlled by the light switch, and then I've got the other two lights uh, just set up over there. They're kind of in limbo waiting for everything to be done. But that is the end of today's packing vlog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if the energy was down in this one. Like I said, I'm just like completely over this move. It's been, it's been very time consuming and I just can't wait for it to be done. But anyway, thanks again so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video with the next packing vlog.